Hi everyone, Miss Tui here. Did you know Ozobot can count with color codes? Just another reason Ozobots are smart. For today's lesson, you will need an Ozobot, fully charged and calibrated, color code markers, a pencil, both pages of your Introduction to Color Codes Lesson 8 counters activity sheets, and a color codes chart. In today's lesson, you will gain experience with the Enable Crossing Counter, Enable Turn Counter, and Enable Path Color Counter color codes, and practice using the Point Counter along with the Point Plus One and Point Minus One color codes. First, remember the number five. You'll see why in a minute. Let's start with a brief overview of the counter codes. Look at the counter section of your color codes chart. The Enable Xing or Crossing counter programs your Ozobot to count the number of intersections it passes. When it passes five intersections, it stops. Next is the Enable Turn counter. This code programs your Ozobot to count the number of turns it makes at intersections. After five turns at intersections, it stops. Then the Enable Path Color Counter programs your bot to count the number of times the color of the path changes. After how many color changes do you think the bot will stop? You're correct, five. The last counter code is the Enable Point Counter, which works along with the Point Plus One and Point Minus One codes to count down from, you guessed it, five points. Get ready to do some counting. Let's get started. The first color code you'll focus on is the Enable Crossing Counter. This code programs your Ozobot to stop after it crosses five intersections, either T or plus intersections. After the fifth intersection, Ozobot rotates left and right, then stops. Find start one on your activity sheets and follow the line to the right. In the first color code space, I'll fill in the enable crossing counter code, which is green, red, blue, green. The second code is a line switch right code that will program my bot to travel to the grid in the middle of the page. I'll fill in the line switch right color code in the second space after start one. Then I'll run my bot. Notice that my bot counts the first contact with the grid in the middle as an intersection. I'll count the intersections with my bot by writing numbers in pencil next to each intersection my bot passes. Using the color codes chart, can you fill in the enable crossing counter and the line switch right codes after start one? Run your bot and count each intersection it passes, including the line it first comes to when it switches lines. When your bot has finished counting intersections and stopped, turn your bot off. This will reset the bot so it will function in the next exercise. Next is the Enable Turn Counter code, which is red, blue, green, blue. This code programs Ozobot to count turns made at intersections. Intersections where Ozobot continues straight are not counted. If you don't want an intersection to be counted, a straight at intersection code can be used. Also, if the bot turns at a corner that is not an intersection, that turn is not counted. Find Start 2 on your activity sheet. The first space for a color code after Start 2 will be the Enable Turn Counter code. The second color code space will take your bot to the grid again with a line switch right code. I'll fill in the Enable Turn Counter code and the line switch right code. Then I'll run my bot and count the turns my bot makes at intersections as it moves around the grid. Be sure to count the turns the bot makes when it switches lines because that counts as a T intersection. Also, keep in mind that the corners at the top 
and the bottom of the grid are not intersections, so they don't count as terms for this code. They are continuations of a line. Can you fill in the enable term counter color code after start two? Then fill in the line switch write code. Run your bot and count each turn your bot makes. Remember to only count turns made at intersections. When your bot has finished counting turns and stopped, turn your bot off. The third counter you'll learn about is the enable path color counter. This counter code programs your Ozobot to stop after it reads five color changes of red, blue, or green in the line. If the line Ozobot is following transitions from green to red, it counts as one color change. Transitions to and from black lines are not counted, and color segments less than two centimeters in length are not counted, so color codes aren't counted as path color changes. Find Start 3 on your activity sheets. The color code you will draw is red, green, blue, red. If you follow along the line, you'll notice that there are the letters B, G, and R next to different segments of the line. I'll fill in the segments labeled B with blue marker, the segments labeled G with green marker, and the segments labeled R with red marker. Then I will run my bot and count the color changes in the path the bot is following. Remember, I won't count the change from the black line to the first blue line. One, two, three, four, and five. Can you find Start 3 on your activity sheet and complete the Enable Path Color Counter Code? Follow along the line and fill in the segments labeled B with blue marker, G with green marker, and R with red marker. Then run your bot and count the color changes in the line the bot is following. Remember, don't count the change from the black line to the first blue line. When your bot has finished counting path color changes and stopped, turn your bot off. Now you'll look at how the point counter color code works. It is a bit different than the other counters because it needs the point plus one color code and the point minus one color code to work. I'll use the map on page two of the activity sheets to show you an example. The point counter code, red, blue, red, green, programs your Ozobot to count point codes. Ozobot begins with five points and can never have more than five points. Each time Ozobot reads a point minus one code, it subtracts one. If it reads a point plus one code, it adds one unless it already has five points. It's really important to pay attention to the direction your bot is traveling when filling in these codes. Notice that plus one is red, blue, green, and minus one is the opposite, green, blue, red. Starting with five points, minus one equals four points, plus one equals five points, minus one equals four points, minus one equals three points, plus one equals four points, plus one equals five points, minus one equals four points, minus one equals three points, minus one equals two points, minus one equals one point, and minus one equals zero points. Can you fill in the enable point counter code and the point plus one and point minus one codes so that the point count at the end of the line is zero? Then run your bot to see if Ozbot counts down to zero. Wow, that was a lot of counting. Let's make sure you've counted everything. Did you complete the enable crossing counter and the line switch write codes from start one and count the intersections your bot crossed? Did you complete the enable turn counter and the line switch write codes from start two and count the number of turns your bot made?
Did you complete the enable path color counter and line segment colors from start three and count the color changes your bot crossed? Did you complete the enable point counter point plus one and point minus one codes from start four and did your bot make it to the end of the line and stop? Can you explain how the different counters work? Come back again soon for our next lesson.